The Rabi Africa Women's Sevens Tournament came to an end at the University of Ghana Rabi Stadium. At the end of the event, Ghana placed seventh on the uh, ranking as they were not able to win most of the matches. Ghana was played in Pool B um, alongside Mauritius, but they were able to record a win against Mauritius. In their quarterfinal game, they were humiliated by Kenya by 48-0. Ghana played their last game against Senegal, where they were able to beat them by 17 to 0. At the end of their tournament, Ghana recorded two wins out of seven games that they played so far and had four losses. Speaking to the coach after the game, Coach Marvin stated that his team um, are well prepared for the other tournaments that are coming up ahead as they have been able to finish seventh in the league table. Ghana World Sports engaged the head coach of the Ghana Rugby Women's team, Marvin, who acknowledged that although there are still progress to be made, he's proud of the performance that his girls gave off in the tournament. Now, team manager Rafa Inusa also stated that she's also uh, delighted with the performances that the, the team displayed as they are competing against one of the best teams when it comes to rugby on the African continent. Let's listen to what these coaches have to say with regards to Team Ghana's performance in the Rabi Africa Women's Sevens Tournament. Look, it's really their first competition that they walked out into, so I think it would be quite unfair to try and you know, judge them based on that. Obviously, me coming in, has been, there's been a lot of changes, you know, a lot of different approaches, a lot of things have changed. And as far as I'm concerned as an individual, they've taken on quite well. They just haven't been able to implement it just yet. But these things take time. So with a little more time, and if we continue and keep them involved, they can only get better. It's been an exciting um, championship where you have 11 countries coming to Ghana, the host nation making it 12, um, looking at the top teams like South Africa, Kenya, Madagascar, Uganda, and this competition makes it uh, a very uh, important event. Uh, looking like countries like Ghana, uh, from the development side, now competing with this group is an achievement and we hope that the government will come in to support both men and women to be able to continue to lift the flag of Ghana high. Today, as we play in order to lift this uh, flag high, we have 12 countries, which four countries are going to be relegated, and three countries, which is the first, second, and third, are going to go through to the Challenger Series. Uh, Ghana is grateful and happy because we are not being relegated. So therefore, next year, we'll also get a chance to compete and defend Ghana more. Thank you.